it sounds like one of the you know, like the killer app of AOL was community that really getting that's one of the reasons why you succeeded over CompuServe or, or Prodigy was that AOL was approachable and, and you built community there. And so it was kind of like power to the people kind of thing. What sort right. of element might that sort of thing play in the third wave in, in getting these more entrenched industries to change? Well, I think there's, there's, I agree with that. I think there's several aspects. So I think the, the, the key thing we, we did better than most others back then was partnerships. And we had hundreds of partnerships with communications companies and hardware companies and software companies and content companies and commerce companies and you know, a lot of different partnerships. And, and we would not have been successful without the partnerships is why I focus on that theme and the, and the third way. The second was trying to make it really easy. We, you know, the internet back then was hard and threatening and frustrating and expensive. Uh, and a little scary. And so we were really trying to kind of make it really easy to use and useful and fun and affordable. But the third, as you mentioned, was we bet early on, really on day one, that the killer app of the internet was people. It was what we called community. So we focused on things like people connection, which were chat rooms and instant messaging, which we created and buddy lists, which we created things that, that were, were ways to people to stay connected to people they already knew, friends, family, but also to you know connect to people they don't know, but but would, would be interested in knowing because they had some kind of shared interest around sports or stamps or whatever it might be. Um, and so that that community focus really was sort of the heart and soul of of our efforts at AOL. And it turned out that that really was the heart and soul of the internet. It, it was sort of the, you know, was was the killer app. It was almost the soul of the internet was 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 people and interaction. Yeah, you know, we called it community. Now it's called social and, and social networks, whether it be Facebook or others, are are building on some of the those those ideas around people, those ideas around uh, community. So you know, it was really I think we broke through in, in part because of the partnerships, in part because of the focus on on simplicity, really making it ready for prime time in part because of uh, the focus on, on people and, and community, as well as in part because of the willingness to persevere and, and stick with it for you know, really a decade before we finally broke through.